We're uh, here going to show the FiberTac DR bridge, and uh, we're looking on a right shoulder. We've created a tear here involving the anterior fibers of the supraspinatus extending back to the infraspinatus. This is intra-articular intra there, and the uh, specimen had a great cuff, so we were able to create a nice full thickness tear here. And our overall construct is going to be to create three FiberTac DR anchors medially, one about here, one in the mid aspect, and one anterior. And then we're going to put two swivel locks down here laterally to optimize our construct. And so we'll start here. And we're going to put our first anchor kind of in the back aspect of that. I'm just sliding the spear down or the drill guide. And we've got that right off the articular margin. So there's our articular surface right there. You can see it. We're going to slide that just adjacent to it. And that's really the optimal bone density right there. We're going to use uh, one of the DR anchors. And we'll talk about some of the unique aspects of this DR anchor. So this is a quick release inserter. What's nice, we'll just take off that tab. We can just pull straight back. And we'll set the anchor by giving it a little bit of tug. And it is right, it is in there. We're going to pass with a uh, fiber link here. And so we'll use this on a scorpion. You can see that coming in right there. And we'll pop that into the joint here. And I'm going to come to the back of the, uh, of the tear here. And we'll pass that. There, there it is right there. And I want to take too big of a bite. It's not that big of a specimen. but I think that's going to pass well, and we'll pull that out. Okay, so this is the tiger tail here that we're going to pull out. We're just going to get rid of that because we're not going to use that stitch for this construct. So this is us passing in one construct. You can see we're going to pull this through here, and so we're pulling back on itself here a little bit, and you'll see the stitches coming through. There we go, and we'll just complete that. And there's our first suture being pulled. And I'm going to actually take those to the back just to get them out of the way. I think just from a suture management standpoint, it's good strategy to keep those safe and out of the way. I don't do these through the cannula. I tend to make a separate percutaneous incision for those. It helps keep our, su our sutures in a good spot. And I'm going to look where our last anchor was, which was right there. I'm going to march this forward. And you'll see that coming right off the articular margin. So right here, we're going to pass this one now. You can see the anchor coming in very cleanly right here. We'll just tap that in. And once the, once the inserter just hits the, drills, uh, the drill guide or spear, uh, we want to stop. Uh, what's nice about this is just a straight pull back. It's a really good purchase. We'll pull out our spear. And you can see uh, the tiger tails are a different color here. Again, I'm going to pull out our number two because we're not going to use that in this construct. And again, I want to show how easy that moves and how easy it is to see intra-articularly or extra-articularly which one you're pulling. You can see how the suture changes. So these are the tiger tails. And these that's a great advantage uh, for us to manage suture, particularly if we're going to do a multi-angle uh, anchor repair. OK, so now we're going to pass our fiber uh, link again. And uh, I'm just going to pull the sutures out of the way. We can see where the, the first group came in. So I'm going to actually just come just about a centimeter or so behind them. And we'll pull that out. What we can do here is we can actually pull out the medial end here. So as we pull our sutures through, um, we will actually be able to um, not cross them. And they'll probably have less of an issue or less of a likelihood for us to actually have suture management issues. I'm going to pull out our label tapes. So we're going to pull that through here. And you'll see the sutures coming in right there, popping through the cuff. And we can take the, the uh, slack out of them. Now we have one more anchor to do. So we'll set up our spear with our obturator again. And I can come in right to the very front aspect here. And what I'm going to do is just externally rotate just a little bit. You can see where our, our medial anchor is. You can see how close we are to the articular surface. We're right adjacent to it. And right here, we're going to put this anchor right at the very leading edge of our tear. And this is a very important position for us to be in. We're right juxta-articular. And uh, this is important biomechanically because it really serves to anchor the cuff uh, at the very anterior aspect. And uh, Steve Burkhart and Ty Lee have done some really nice work showing the importance of doing that. So again, our tiger tails are going to be different from this anchor. And you can see a different color labral tape and a different color tiger tail here. We're going to pass another fiber link and we'll grab our cuff right here. Now we can see we've kind of spread our cuff out like that. And again, just for simplicity's sake, I will retrieve the end here out through that anterior cannula. 
and then I'll retrieve our two tails here. Now, if you are so inclined, you could actually pass these through separate uh, passes, just if you like. For this tear here, which we created, uh, this is certainly more than adequate. And what we do probably 85, 90% of the time, we'll deliver the, the labral tapes through the cuff. Great. Okay. And now it's time for our lateral row repair. Here's the power pick. Okay, and you can see it spinning here, and you can see it retracts. And here it is, we can deploy it now. You can see it. Okay, and we can actually create a little bit of a biologic response here. So as I look at the construct here, um, I would say that if the potential for a dog ear were to exist, it likely will exist on the back part of this tear, just from where our sutures are passed. So we use the fiber link to actually pass all our sutures, and then we can elegantly use the fiber link now to kind of prevent us from having a dog ear. So I'm just going to put this in right here, pass that through the rotator cuff, and we're going to incorporate that into our lateral row. All right, we're going to pull that in right there on our rotator cuff. And we're going to incorporate that directly into our repair. I'm going to manage our sutures. Now, uh, this 3-2 construct works really well because we're going to actually take one limb uh, of each labral tape. And I, I'm not particular about which one I take, but if I can choose, I'll pick the posterior one. That one looks like I may have picked. Those were laying right on top of each other. From the middle anchor here, we'll take the posterior one. And then from the anterior anchor, the same. So here we're going to pass our sutures through a swivel lock. And uh, you can pass all four limbs, or you can do it sequentially. But you can see we just got them all four passed in one pass. And we'll hold those with a, a little clamp. And now we're going to look and try to optimize our lateral anchor position here. You know, we spent a little bit of time thinking about how to optimize its position from a medial anchor position, but we should also be thoughtful about how we actually fix this laterally. And so I can grab all of the limbs of this, and I can pull this down, and I can move my repair uh, or my anchor point laterally in different constructs. So what I can do here is I can actually hold it right there, and that's kind of where I think the optimal position will be. So I'm going to make a little mark on the bone right there, and I can see that. And now I'm going to actually take our awl and I'm going to put it in the exact same spot where I thought we optimized it, so somewhere right around here. And we'll advance that. Okay, good. So our swivel lock is down there. So here we are now. We're about to secure our lateral row. We'll just park the eyelet right here so it's outside of the bone. And then we'll remove the tension of each suture individually. So one thing that's nice about this FiberTac DR is that this achieves fixation at the articular margin. What I mean is that each labral tape is fixed as soon as you insert it into the anchor. So we are tensioning the sutures here. They're not, the labral tapes are not going to slide like the tiger tails on the uh, fiber wire that we showed earlier. But here's our, our construct. It looks very, very good. We have no dog ear. I think this is going to come together nicely. We're going to tap this in. Okay, a lot of compression on that. That looks great. And now we'll remove our swivel lock inserter. And we're going to pull this back. And we're going to pull out that stitch. I'm not going to use that stitch or anything. If you wanted to, you could, but we're not going to use it because we have a nice fiber link that's doing our repair. Go ahead. And we're going to slide this down here and we're going to cut this flush right on the bone. Great. And so we'll take a look at our first anchor repair. And uh, that's going to look great. We have no dog ear at all. And we have really robust fixation there. So I'm going to retrieve our sutures. Fantastic. There's our first one. There's our second one. And there's our third one. Great. Okay, good, great, okay. So here we'll put this right down. We've got our cutter right there. And so really robust repair. I mean, you can see we have 
great repair. And that fiber link really did a nice job in the back and a great utilization of it. You can see here. Here we are back intra-articularly. And one of the things that I really love about these repairs with multiple points of fixation is that you don't even see, I mean, you can just get a sense of where one anchor is. I mean, but if you were to look quickly at this repair, you would say that this person has a normal rotator cuff.